Hi, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom. So this week I want to talk about whether your spouse's or your significant other's criminal history can hurt your custody case. And that's actually a question I got from one of my viewers. And so I thought it was a pretty good question that does come up from time to time in my cases. So the answer to that question is maybe. Um, and it really depends on a lot of different factors. Um, it depends on your judge, first and foremost. It, ju uh, it depends on the type of criminal history that your spouse has. Um, when we are talking criminal history, we're talking, are we talking about, um, you know, like a marijuana conviction from the past? Are we talking drug issues? Are we talking um, uh, sexual abuse conviction? Um, are we talking about aggravated assault, uh, assault with a deadly weapon, uh, some sort of domestic violence? What is the issue that we're talking about? So um, another relevant factor is what type of conviction that your spouse or significant other has. The other factor I think that's important, important is the amount of time that it's been since your spouse or significant other actually got the criminal conviction or you know how long has it been since they had this criminal history if your spouse or significant other had um, a conviction from 20 years ago and hasn't gotten in trouble with the law since then then you know a, a criminal history may not be something that a judge pays that much attention to unless the criminal history is related to a really serious offense like of course murder or some sort of violent assault, or some sort of sexual abuse conviction. And those are the types of convictions that a judge probably would hold against your significant other forever. So I wanna give you a couple of examples where um, um, a judge in my case, uh, or judges in my cases, have held a significant other's criminal history or actions against them. Um, in one case I had probably about 10 years ago, my client was a pretty good mom. Um, she and her ex-husband were pretty high conflict and they were always going back to court. He was always wanting more parenting time with the children, more custody rights than her. And, and the leverage that the ex-husband used was my client's then boyfriend. And my client's then boyfriend was somebody who liked to smoke mar marijuana. And he did have some misdemeanor convictions in Arizona. So in Arizona, there are felonies, which are the more serious criminal convictions. And then there are misdemeanors, which are still crimes, but less serious. So the boyfriend had um, convictions for uh, smoking marijuana or possessing marijuana, and they were misdemeanors. Um, and the judge in our case found out about that. And although the judge in our case had no uh, right to make any orders about the boyfriend, um, you know, not doing drugs, what my what the judge did do is say that my client's children could never be around the boyfriend. So that was a problem for my client because she was living with the boyfriend. So if she wanted to see her kids um, on the week on week off basis, then she had to go to another house or send her boyfriend elsewhere. And unfortunately for them, I think that meant the end of their relationship at some point, and they both moved on since then, and they're both happy. But that is a situation where a judge did hold a person's criminal history against my client. So another situation that I'm actually facing right now doesn't relate to criminal history, uh, criminal history or criminal convictions, but it relates to the alleged actions of my client's significant other. And I will say that my client is one of the best people, best clients that I've come across, and so is a significant other. Um, there's been an allegation by the mother in that case that my client's significant other has been coaching the child to say certain things about mother. And this came out during a child interview. Um, so, the, the child during the interview with a with a mental health professional said that my client's significant other was coaching him. So, but then since then, the child has revealed to my client and his significant other that he lied because he felt pressured. But what ended up happening was um, the child's statements came out through a trial. The judge in our case was really upset and he really was on the verge of excluding my client's fiance from the child's life forever. And um, 
The fiance has been involved in the child's life for many years. It's more than five years and he loves her dearly, dearly. And so I scrambled around and I was able to talk the judge into considering the fact that excluding this person, this fiance from the child's life would do the child more harm than good. And that maybe we should have a mental health professional look at the relationship and whether or not the relationship between the fiance and the child is a good one and one that needs to be nurtured and kept or not. So that is what we're on the verge of doing in that case. But it's pretty scary for my clients, of course, for his fiance, and the child doesn't know what's going on. But I really do think that it will hurt the child if um, fiance can't be in the child's life, and it will hurt my client and his relationship with his fiance. They live together, so it's going to make it difficult for my client to have time with his, with, with his kid if the fiance cannot be around. So I know that's not a, a clear cut answer. A lot of questions that people give me don't have clear cut answers. A lot of the answers I give are, you know, it depends and maybe, and that's the honest to God truth because there are so many moving parts in these cases. Um, you know, but if the criminal history happened a long time ago, you know, it may not affect your case as long as it's not one of the serious types of offenses that I described earlier. Um, if the criminal history is more recent, it could it could affect your case depending on the type of um, conviction that your spouse has or your or a significant other has. So you know it certainly helps if even if your spouse or significant other has been incarcerated within the last five years. It certainly helps if since they've gotten out there on this they've been on the straight and narrow. They haven't gotten into trouble. They have a steady job. They're doing everything that they can to rehabilitate themselves. So as I always say, go to YouTube and subscribe to the Command the Courtroom channel. That way you can get the weekly updates as they come out. Like Command the Courtroom on Facebook and be sure and go to commandthecourtroom.com and check out the goodies that we have there. Until next week, keep on trucking and remember to command the courtroom.